very warm welcome to the Steel Timber Sports Rookie World Championship 2017. This year, the magnificent city of Hamburg is playing host to the best timber sports rookies in the world. The stage is set on the banks of the River Elbe for the ultimate showdown of what these young athletes can do with an axe and a saw. The arena for this timber sport spectacle is the Cruise Center Altona. The fans are anxiously waiting for the gladiators to enter the arena, who will claim the title of being the best timber sports rookie in the world. I'm definitely the favorite to win. Don't think anyone else is gonna beat me. My uh, goal for the Rookie World Championships is to uh, defend our title and, uh, and bring home the gold for Canada. The person that's gonna win is gonna be the person that trained the hardest and has the best day. There are four disciplines in the Rookie World Championship, but although the contestants combat in pairs head-to-head -head on the deck, it's all about the time placings to gain points in the overall standings. The best eight athletes have qualified for this stage of the competition, and we'll start off with the stock saw. Heat one, George Williams against Yannick Lindner. Some of the most important advice I got from other athletes is to keep your mental game good and focus on what you're doing, don't worry about others. Hands on the wood. Get set. The saws scream into action and they both get off to a really good start. They have to cut off two clean cookies. Neck and neck, just six hundred tenths of a second between them. 11.91 for the Canadian and 11.97 for the German. Okay, both cuts are good. And in the slow motion replay, we can see just how close that contest was. I'm very happy with that. I was focusing on getting my two cuts done, smooth transition. Could have went a little bit faster. I heard the saw easing up a bit, but I tried to keep it smooth and steady. I'm, I'm happy with my cut. In the next tease, it's the American William Adams meets the Swedish Ferry Swan. The biggest thing is having someone out there watching you timing, trying to beat your old times, and just working to become a better chopper. Hands ready. 15 seconds to warm up your saw. Hands on the wood. Get set. Okay, so we've got Ferry Svan on the right, the Nordic champion of 2016. He's got a little bit of an advantage. Oh, this could be a new best time. Looks good as the cookie falls. 11.32 for Ferry Svan and 13.21 for right. William Adams. Both cuts are good. So once again in the replay, we can see in the background Ferry Svan finishing off. What a perfect start, but not so good for the American. Yeah, I got a little vibration from the saw sitting on a wood deck and it made it vibrate back a little bit and so then I grabbed the chain break, but a little different than over in the US, but made two cuts and now it's time to move on to the chopping and keep going forward. The last heat, it's Blake Marsh against Scott Folks. I uh, did a lot of training to come over here. Trained probably five times a week, chopped about five blocks a day. Did all the local little shows around home. Hands on the wood! Get set! Okay, the time to beat is 11.32 seconds, and they're both off to a good start. The 23-year-old Australian wants to take this title really badly, but that's going to be difficult. 12.26 for Folks and 12.46 for Marsh. Now that's surprising. Okay, both cuts are good. Okay, it's official. The Brit takes the win in fifth place and Blake Marsh has to settle for sixth. Uh, I wasn't that good that discipline, a bit slow. Hopefully I can pick up and get a bit more better and faster in the next couple of disciplines to go. The standings after the first of the four disciplines. 
Ferry Svan takes the win and eight points. Seven for Guillain Schepler out of France and six points for the Canadian. Unfortunately, there's a storm warning and we are going to have to postpone the contest, but hopefully we will be able to continue tomorrow. We have to see what the weather does. It's always the same with an open air contest. You have to just rely on the weather. Yeah, last night we got rained out due to severe thunderstorms that came through. We had some lightning in the air and everyone knows you don't want to have a little metal in the air with a swing in the axis. So they canceled the event today and it turned out to be a beautiful afternoon. Luckily, the weather cleared up and the contest could continue on the next day. So let's take another quick look at the standings. The second discipline is the standing block chop. The 30 centimeter block must be chopped through from both sides with an ax. I'm just trying to keep it all normal. It's a competition just like any other. Stay cool and have fun. Cool to play and Spaß to have. Three, two, one, go! Both of these guys, 23 years old. Lindner, 1 meter 80 and 85 kilos. Look at the chunks of wood just flying out of those blocks. Williams turning on the power. Oh, the axe slips through, but he finishes it anyway. 27.6 for Williams, a new personal best time. Lindner finishes off with 47.45. Also, a new personal best time. Okay, both cuts are good. Yeah. In the replay, the powerful blows from the Canadian. And the final swing from the German. The wood was a lot higher than expected, and that kind of threw me off after the first few hits. <laughs> this is some fairly hard wood, so it was, it was tough. Next up, William Adams from the USA against the current leader, Ferry Svan from Sweden. For this competition, I have uh... I trained a lot, so I think I'm prepared. Three, two, one, go! Both guys off to a good start, working at a really, really fast race here. Adams, the US college champion, and Ferry, the reigning Nordic champion. Adams changes sides already. There's nothing between them. It looks like the Swedes block is starting to rock. 22.65 seconds for Ferry Svan. Okay, both cuts are good. In the replay, we can see just how much power these guys are throwing into those swings. Both of these young men have just set new personal best times. Yeah, I'm really happy with that cut. I, uh, I have a 39 second on my last Nordic Championship. A really, really good time for me. Next up, it's Scott Fawkes and William Schepler. And both of these guys are 24 years old. Yeah, it's been a very um, intense training schedule, but hopefully we're in the right place and um, come here to um, do a good job. Time is ready. Contestants ready. Three, two, one, go. Okay, so the time to beat is 22.65 from Ferry Svan. This discipline simulates the classic way to fell a tree. And these guys are really giving it 100%. Look at the chunks of wood just flying out of that block. And the Frenchman has already made the change. He's on his home run now. It's just going to be another few blows and he'll be through. 29.08 seconds for the Frenchman. And meanwhile, Faust has also finished. 35.02. In the replay, you can see just how determined Schepler is to finish that block off. The wood is a lot harder. Um, 
we thought. So it took a lot longer, um, so very disappointed with that one. Next up, Blake Marsh from Australia against Simon Grutter from Switzerland. The advice that I got to come over here was just relax, don't worry about the crowd, try not let the nerves get to you and just do your own thing and don't worry about anyone else. Three, two, one, go! So let's see if his tactics work for him. Both of the guys look very determined and they're putting their whole body weight into those swings. Ooh, Marsh has already turned. This could be a new best time. 18.2 seconds for Marsh, what a time. Gruta still working and he finishes off with 25.22. Okay, both cuts are good. So in the replay, we see the first cuts of the contest, and then the last swings. Yeah, happy with that, but still wasn't the best cut, so hopefully the better ones are coming. The results from the standing block chop. Blake Marsh taking the eight points in front of Ferry Svan. Ferry Svan increases his lead in the overall standings with Blake Marsh taking up the chase, and Williams and Shepler both with 10 points. We move on to the single book. Yannick Lindner from Germany told us what timber sports means to him. In the evening, when I pick up my axe and I have a block in front of me, even without music, I can relax and still train my body. Ready. Contestants ready. Three, two, one, go! Oh, what a sweet start there from Lindner. He's really getting into his flow and he's keeping his rhythm. Oh, it looks like Schepler's getting a little bit hung up at the back there. The German, he's almost through. He's got one little hang and he's finished. 16.74 seconds for the German. And Schepler finishes off with 21.78. Okay, both cuts are good. In the replay, we can see that Schepler was just struggling to get into his flow. Whereas Lindner was giving it full gas. It takes time to get the saw working, but when we try to cut as fast as possible through the block, sometimes the saw just gets hung up. Next up, it's the American William Adams and the Swiss Simon Grutter. Some advice I got is don't try to take your technique in the last week. It's not going to make a difference because it's all muscle memory. Okay. Time is ready. Three, two, one, go! Oh, Grutter getting off to a bad start there. Adams with a better start, but he's got a much shorter pull. He's not really getting that sore working. The time to beat, 16.76 seconds. The American looks like it's just slightly in the lead. 18.65 for Adams and 21.52 for Grutter. Okay, both cuts are good. Even though both of these guys were struggling a little bit, they both set new personal best times. Single Buck's one of those things I'm still trying to learn. Uh, I worked up at a show in Alaska and I learned how to run an M M2 through well. Completely different sawing teeth with two. Technique with a peg and raker, but just trying to learn it and figure it out and run smooth. But it just takes time in the sport, and that's for sure, and I'm eventually going to get it. Now we've got Scott Folks from Great Britain up against the current leader, Ferry Swan. When it's competition, you, you really want to do the, the fastest you can, but if you're stressed or you're rushing, that's not going to be a, a good job. Two, one, go! Okay, and both guys get off to a pretty good clean. Look at the speed of Svan. He's working like a steam train. This is gonna be incredibly fast. 
Oh my gosh, 12.02 seconds, unbelievable. And Fawkes finishes off with 20.5 seconds. A top performance there from Ferry Swan, setting a best time that will be really hard to beat. Yeah, I'm really happy with that cut, so I, I've done my homework, I see now, so now I'm going for it. For the last two years, the title of Rookie World Champion has been won by Canadians. Nathan Cumberland won it back in 2015. Later, it was his brother, Ben Cumberland, that became the best rookie in the world. The Cumberland brothers have set a high standard for this year's Canadian rookie to follow. And here he is. Can he make it a hat trick? George Williams in third place in the overall standings at the moment. I think the strongest opponent will be the Australian because they can chop. All Aussies are known to chop very well, but hopefully I can... I'm a really good Sawyer and I'm a good chopper as well, so it'll be a good competition. So let's see what he can do. Next up, George Williams meets the Australian Blake Marsh. Okay. Time is ready. Contestants ready. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> So they both get off to a good clean start, but it looks like the Canadian is in the lead. Oh my gosh, Marsh having some problems there, on and the Canadian's finished already. He's just set a time of 10.32 seconds, fantastic. Okay, both cuts are good. That was a truly amazing performance from the young Canadian. And the Australian Marsh finished up with 14.19 seconds. I'm happy I won my heat, but I could have won a, a lot faster. The wood was a bit hard, so it kind of threw me off a bit, but we'll see how it goes. George Williams takes eight points for the win. Ferry Svan coming in second, followed by Marsh and Linda in fourth. And the overall standing so far, Svan with a four-point lead over Williams, who's moved up to second place with Blake Marsh in third. And we move on to the final discipline, the underhand chop. First up, it's Yannick Lindner against George Williams. My first goal is to get through the contest without picking up a disqualification, but my main goal is to finish as the best European. And the Canadian is fighting to keep his third place. Three, two, one, go! And both of the guys here getting off to a really quick start. A very, very fast work rate. Looks like Williams is just... Uh, Williams has changed already. How... Oh, he slipped off, but he's back on and he's still in the flow. Let's see how long it's going to take for him to get through that block. And it looks like the block's starting to shake already. One or two more swings and he should be through. There he goes. Nice finish for Williams. And it looks like Lindner's having a little bit of a tough time down there. He keeps falling off the block. One more. There we go. He's through. But he doesn't look happy. Oh. What do we see on the deck? I think there's a yellow flag there. Yeah, this could be difficult okay. for Lindner. George, you're good. Yannick, you cut the foothold, that's why DQ. Unfortunately, Yannick gets disqualified for cutting over the marks for the foothold. That's a big disappointment for the young German athletes. Yeah, I cut into the foothold on the right. One mistake and then you can't work, and so I'm really annoyed with myself. So, bad luck for Yannick there. Now let's see what happens in the next heat. William Shepler up against William Adams. When it comes to traditional timber sports, I'd say it's the underhand and the standing block. Uh, underhand more than the standing block, just because I got better at it faster. Three, two, one, go! 
Shepler and Adams are tied for place four and five at the minute, and both guys setting off at a really, really fast rate. The time to beat, 27.09 seconds, and there's nothing between them. Oh, this was close on the turn, but it looked like Adams just about managed to turn first. This is such a close heat. Adams is through, 27.16, and Shepler finishes off with 30.86. All right. Both cuts are good. The athletes are really pushing themselves here. Both of these guys have just set new personal best times. Got off balance, stood up way too high, came up with the axe over my head a little high, I think, that I'm used to. Set me off balance, so I take a minute, you gotta readjust and keep going. But all in all, it wasn't a bad job. With a good performance, Ferry Svan could clinch the title in this heat against Scott Fawkes. The, the advice they give me um, was to hit harder and go faster. <laughs> Ferry Svan, maybe on his way to victory. Three, two, one, go! So let's see if the 21 year old can keep his nerve and pull this off. Just look at how fast he's swinging that axe. He might not have as much power as some of the bigger guys, but he certainly makes up for it in speed. Or oh, Fawkes in the background there, he just lost his footing and has had to get back up onto the block. The question is, how quickly can Svan get through this block? It looks like it's, come on. Looks like it's starting to go. And there he is, he's through. Folks, just finishing off now. He needs a few more swings to get through that block. There he goes, 40.64 for Folks. All right, guys. Both cuts are good. So Folks has got no chance of picking up a medal here today. But the big question is, has Svan done enough, despite his slip, to secure his win? Yeah, it didn't go to go as planned. But uh, we'll see how far I come. So it's all down to this last heat, where the Australian Blake Marsh meets the Swiss Simon Grutter. Australia is well known for producing the best axemen. Favourite discipline's got to be down there. It's the strongest one that I just like it the most. Three, two, one, go! And they're both off to a good start. But look at how Marsh is attacking that block. It's just something about these Aust He's turned already. The Australians are just amazing on the underhand. I think he's only going to need two or three. He's through. I don't believe it. What a time. 17.83 seconds for the Australian. This is an absolute best time and a new personal best time for Mr. Marsh. Amazing. Okay, meanwhile, Gruta, he's not giving up. He's still working on the block. He's gonna get through it. Come on, few more swings. Get, yeah, well done. He finishes off with 47.99. Okay, both cuts are good. Blake Marsh in the background there, setting a new personal best time. But the question is, has he done enough to challenge Svan? The results from the underhand chop, Blake Marsh takes a clear wing and eight points, followed by George Williams and Ferry Svan only managed fifth. But the official final results, Ferry Svan from Sweden is the Steel Timber Sports Rookie World Champion 2017. He led the contest from start to finish and beat both Marsh and Williams by just one single point. If I was a little bit faster in the standing block, uh, I would have 
been a few points ahead that would have put me up at first. Yeah, I'm happy with the performance of my last standard block and underhand, but it's pretty annoying when you just lose by a point. Or... I, I, I didn't think uh, I would win this, but uh, I have trained a lot, so it's really, really happy to to see that uh, the training have uh, done its work. Barry Swan, victorious in Hamburg. We're certain that we'll be seeing a lot more from these athletes in the future. But that's all the time we have for now, so we're going to say Auf Wiedersehen from the Steel Timber Sports Rookie World Championship 2017. We hope you'll tune in again next time for some more exciting Hands on the Wood action.